Okay, take three. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. We have Pastis here yes. because he's being really naughty. So I feel like this video is going to be really difficult for us to film because around this time of day, Pastis, he just becomes like a devil. He wants to go for his walk. Exactly. Pastis. You shouldn't have said that. Ah, yeah, I shouldn't have yeah. said that. I brought Pierre back today by popular demand because a lot of people wanted to see. I think it's, for, it's also Pastis' first appearance. <laughs> no, we had him when he was a baby. Yeah? Yeah. But like for a full video? No, not for a full video. But we'll try and make this as smooth as possible and if it's not possible then we'll see. Yeah, what we're going to be doing is like another version of actually our most popular video together. It's Pierre blindly smelling some designer fragrances for women. Uh, we don't have the blindfold today but I'm not going to show Pierre the bottle of the fragrance or what it is. I'm just going to get him to smell it and give us his thoughts. You need to rate it out of 10, of course, okay. and tell us if it's sexy for the women. And I'm really excited because I have some new designer fragrances, ones that I don't think Pierre has ever smelled, some that he smelled a lot on me, so I can't wait to see his reaction. Yeah. So. And I don't know the list. No, he has no idea. Okay, first okay. fragrance right here. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Sexy. Yeah, it's sexy. Okay. It's nice. Do you pick it's up anything? Nice. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like it's fresh. Yep. Actually. Yep. It's fresh, but it has character. Love that uh, explanation. I agree. Uh, uh, there's something maybe a little floral, but mm -hmm. not too much. Yep. Um, I don't know. I get like a... Um, Fresh, maybe citrusy, white floral, woody. Yeah. Kind of DNA. Okay. Okay. And what do you rate um, it out of 10? It depends on the occasion. I don't think. Okay. For me, this is not necessarily like a night out perfume, like to be really noticed. Yeah. But I'm sure like a, an everyday perfume during summer for women. Yeah. This would be really nice. It's light, but it has some character. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, no, it's nice. Okay. Yeah. Out of 10? Maybe seven and a half. Okay, seven and a half. Yeah. Okay. Which for me is a good, uh, good look. So this one was Yves Saint Laurent L. Yeah. Yeah. Which you were right about most of the things. It's fresh. It has some pink pepper, some citrus in the top, and it's definitely a nice everyday fragrance. I agree. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised. Okay, so I seven. remember. I think you bought it because I complimented you. So yeah, yeah, exactly. You got it in Paris, no? Yeah. So Parisian. Yes, yeah. It's the one my cousin is wearing. Yeah, yeah, Isabel, yeah. That was another reason why I wanted to get it. Yeah, it's really that. nice. <laughs> so, like seven and a half. Yeah. Cool. So, at least uh, I'm not. Uh, I knew that I liked this one, but I didn't remember the smell. Exactly. No, no, I knew that I liked it. Okay, so, yeah. on to the next. Ooh. What do you think? I know this one. Yeah? It's Angel. Or uh, Alien. No, no, it's, it is. I don't want to say it's an angel, but another version of it. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a good nose. But it's, uh, I love this perfume, so I. To be honest, I didn't smell it for a long time. Okay. But I love this so much. Okay, and uh, but what? We have a different version of angel. Yeah, yeah. We have another version. I didn't know. Okay. Really. This is the different version. But what do you a, think? In a in a sample no, no, no. or? I will show you after. Know. Like chocolate, I don't know, coffee, chocolate, yeah. vanilla accords, but yeah, yeah. I, I don't know uh, okay. what else. And do you like it for a woman? Yeah, I love it. You love it? Yeah, for a date night, for winter, what do you like it for? I don't know exactly. Okay, I think it's a nice date one. Yeah. Or a going out fragrance, like if you're going clubbing yeah. or... Yeah, going out, I would say. Because it's, it's like a very um, head-turning scent. Yeah. No, yeah, I would say a date night going out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and out of oh, ten? It's really nice. Uh, a nine. A nine! I love it. But okay. I love it for myself as well, you know, so yeah. that's why I'm saying. Uh, ah. It was Angel Muse. Okay, okay. Angel Muse, um, it's more of a chocolatey version of the original. It yeah. has like cacao powder, more chocolatey. Less, I get the chocolate a lot. Yeah, less of those like spicy patchouli notes. Yeah. Even though it still kind of has the same character as Angel, I much prefer this one because it's more like, Super I don't know, nice. more gourmand. It's amazing. Okay, different vibe. Different vibe for sure. Completely different vibe, but still very nice. Still very nice? Yeah, I like it. Okay. 
But it's very fruity. Very fruity. Very. Fruity fresh. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. There is not so uh, it's it's not a uh, whoa. Uh, there is yeah. not so much to say about, but it's For very sure. fruity fresh. That's what I. And mean. Pierre is quite jaded because I wear mostly niche fragrances or more complex designer fragrances. So. Um, I feel like for, for me to show Pierre like a floral, fresh, fruity sort of scent, he's always going to be a little like, meh, it's okay. Like, I don't think he would ever be super impressed uh, with something with that sort of DNA, like a fruity, floral, fruity, fresh. I don't think he will ever be like, whoa, that's amazing because he's smelled so many of them. It's nice. Okay. Uh, it's nothing crazy, Okay. but it's, it's nice. Okay, and out of 10? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. It's good. So that one was Burberry Her. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm surprised. Yeah. Is it the one that's supposed to smell like Ibakara? Yeah. Or it's the other one, Burberry Her? No, it's this one. Which, this one is what? The Eau de Parfum? But you're right. It has a lot of fruity notes. So it has strawberry. It has yeah. like a cream note. So it's quite fruity. It's very fruity. Yeah. But I don't get the Baccarat resemblance. Yeah. In the air? Yes, but no, I agree. When you smell it, it's just, it smells like uh, exactly when you smell yeah. it like this, it's very fruity, a little creamy, uh, floral. But when you smell it in the air, it can resemble baccarat in a way. No, but I agree, I, I, it used to, I used to, even myself, like I was really comparing this one to baccarat, cheaper yeah. version. Yeah, but uh, on the test, you smell no. it like this, blindfolded. No, you should do, you should try. Yeah, yeah, for people who think that it's really uh, close do. to baccarat, yeah. make this experience. Yeah, for sure, it's really uh. It's, uh, I'm surprised actually. No, no, I agree I'm completely. On the paper, Tessa Strip, it doesn't smell like Baccarat. I think in the air, when you catch like the sillage of this fragrance, yes. So you give it a seven. Yeah. Okay, it's next good. one. But for now, you show me three good ones, so. Yeah, cool. Yeah. This is also very different. Okay. Uh, this is a DNA that I don't really know uh, how to judge. Okay. It's a little more complex yeah. than previous ones. Yeah. Uh, it's more complex. Yeah. Not just a little. Like the previous ones, uh, I think Angel Muse. It's also a little complex, complex for compared sure. to Burberry Her. For me, it was literally like fruity uh, floral. Yeah. This, I'm not sure. I get like gourmand, maybe like boozy. Yeah. Vibe. Yeah. It's very nice. It's very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Sexy. Yeah, very sexy. Very sexy. very sexy. That's our first very sexy, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very sexy. <laughs> well, it depends what you like, you know. Myself, I like this DNA. No, but I like to hear your opinion of them. It's so. sharp. Yeah. It's, uh, I feel like this could be very addictive. Yeah? Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, cool. I so like, like a date night sort of scent. Yeah, night definitely. Out. Okay. This one, yeah. I'm writing notes in my head. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so what do you rate this one out of 10? Yeah, it's very really nice. Maybe this one, I would say, I give Angel Muse 9. Yeah, you gave it a 9, so be careful. I give, I'm going to give it a 9 as well. 9, okay. Yeah. And okay, now for the reveal. Ah. It's Tom Ford, Noir Pour Femme. Yeah, but there you go. Me, I love Noir. Yeah. For a man. Yeah. So uh, once again, uh, I'm happy that I'm saying true to myself. Yeah, exactly. Noir Pour Femme? Yeah. I could wear this. Yeah, for a hundred percent. It's very unisex, this fragrance. Very, very unisex. I almost feel like it's crazy because the Noir Extreme for men, that, that's kind of the counterpart to this fragrance. And I actually feel like the masculine, the Noir Extreme, is more feminine than the Noir Pour Femme. Because this one is very woody, spicy, ambery, like you said, a little boozy almost. Yeah, it's quite, very woody for sure. Quite oriental. Very woody, but I get like a... There is a sweetness as well. Sweetness, like that's maybe the gourmand thing I'm saying, yeah, the yeah. boozy or yeah. probably some patchouli, some sort of patchouli yeah. inside. It's, uh, I love it. Cool. Really. Cool. It's very nice. Okay. But maybe I feel like some women, they would not find this very feminine. No, you know no, I mean? no, 100%. Because I'm saying me, I would wear this and I love like dark, patchouli, embery, resinous, yeah. you know, perfume. And this yeah. side's I really like. For sure. No, no, you have to be a certain type of woman to pull this one off. Because, yeah, I agree. A lot of women like more the Burberry Her fragrances and some really like this, this more type dark. of dinner. Yeah, it's more it's dark. much darker. Much but darker. But in a, in a good way, personally, I love it. Yeah. So, uh, sexy date it's... night, cool. nine out of ten. Cool. No, I never, you never wear it. I haven't worn it since I got it back from Australia. I haven't worn this one yet because 
Guys, the perfume collection grew a lot. We now have like 750 fragrances as opposed to last year when we had like 300. So we're, there is a lot in the room that I have never even worn. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> we need to do a challenge maybe every single day of the year. We wear a different fragrance. Like yeah, of course. So you can see my opinion. Yeah. Because this right. one, me, obviously I know the name Top Noir, but yeah. uh, for women. But the juice. I love, I think the noir is just above me, the yeah. one I love, that the me goes for me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which uh, is really nice. It's... This is very feminine. Very feminine? Yeah, very feminine. It's like in the same line as like a light Delina, I would say. Yeah? You think it's more similar to Delina? Uh, I'm, I would say it's the Carolina Herrera red. What? No. How do you know? Uh, just from remembering. Oh, wow. Good nose. Oh, I guess I can give away the secret. Yeah. Yes, it's the Very Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, yeah. which at some point I was wearing quite a bit. So that's why you know what I think. Yeah, I know. And also at some point we were like trying to compare all the Delina dupes, but the ones that were in the same line of like Rose, Ligi, Rubarve, uh, yeah. Cashmere. And uh, this one, uh, yeah. so for me it's like a cheap Delina. Yeah, I, and, I have to agree with that. it's made by the same perfumer also. So. I have to agree. Yes. But, yeah. but so yeah, if you like Delina and you want to find something uh, more affordable, more affordable and uh, yeah, but I would still recommend the original. But it's uh, it's nice. You like it? Obviously, yeah. Yeah. And uh, what it's, would you? It's it's it's, yeah, it's very similar. Yeah. What would you give it? Though, out of ten, keeping in just don't keep it in as like a dupe. Think of it like as its own thing. But you know, for me that I uh, you like this. I don't thing. like the lack of creativity. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And for me, this is literally. Uh, uh, yeah. It's not very creative. Um, so it's difficult to rate it. Okay. You know? Still. But um, eight. Okay, an eight. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's nice. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's very nice. Okay. Why do you like it so much? Because it's mysterious. It's mysterious. Okay. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I'm no, like, no, no. I'm just, uh, I'm just listening to you. Yeah, it's very nice. What do you get from it? I don't know. That's why I think it's mysterious. Okay. I get like a sweet woody, mm -hmm. maybe some sort of like little fl white floral flowers. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Fresh, not fresh, date night, every day. I'm not sure, I feel like it would be both. Yeah? Because I get, I don't know, from the first spray, I get something that could be fresh, but yeah. I feel like it's gonna turn into something not fresh at all. Okay, you like it, that's the Yeah, I really thing. like it. It's sexy, it's mysterious. It's mysterious. Okay. It could be sexy. Okay. But it could be an everyday. Yeah. I feel. Okay. I don't know. And your score? Right, it's very nice. Okay. I'm gonna give it another nine. Another nine? Yeah. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe to Chanel? No. No? I'm really excited because... Ah. It is Shiseido Zen. And this is probably one of the most affordable in this list and one of my cult Amazing. favorites from many, and many years. And since she, you, so she got it like five days ago. Yes. And every time you wear it, I give you a compliment without exactly, knowing. Exactly, exactly. So yeah. I'm not surprised. It's yeah. very nice. Yeah. It's I'm so nice. happy that he, I'm really happy that he loves it because honestly, I was wearing it a lot in Australia. My mom even more than me. And I loved the fragrance. It lasts a long time. It's fresh. Like Pia said, there is something in, more complex about it than just being a fresh fragrance there is a lot more going on i think there is some yeah, it's, patchouli it's some grapefruit the, it's fresh in the in the opening but you yeah. feel like there is something behind it yeah 100 you know, yeah I, I get patchouli yeah I, I thought about it at some point but not in the term for noir uh, yeah, type yeah, of patchouli, yeah. yeah for sure i might take it on uh to someone with me yeah you should actually but the bottle is heavy, the problem yeah. is that the bottle is big yeah. And, uh, yeah. But, but guys, it's, 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 so it's discontinued, but you can still find it for sale, right? Yeah, you can still find it for sale. I'm not sure if it's actually discontinued because you definitely can find this one in many places. And it's so affordable. Like I think I picked it up for about $20 the other day. So get on it, Shiseido Zen, fresh, yeah. long lasting, 
Guys like it apparently, and it's a fantastic juice. Could be an everyday, no? Of course, sure me. I think it's me, an everyday. I, I feel it could be both. Yeah, I think it's an everyday. Yeah. I don't. I wouldn't wear this one if we're going on a date, but I would yeah. wear it like every day. Yeah, I think it's yeah. It's maybe not to impress, mm. but every day you don't know what to. Yeah, what and to get. it smells nice. clean, but it smells clean, but there is so much more going on, like Pierre also said. So I think it's a no-brainer for me. And you can play Rubik's cube. <laughs> it's uh, less what I like. Okay. You know it has this DNA that you know, I'm, I'm not a fan of. Okay. Of like orange blossom and sweet. Yeah. Is that okay. right? You're a close, yeah, yeah. White uh, flowers mixed blossom, with sweet, yeah, yeah, yeah. There probably is orange blossom actually in this one. But it's 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 acceptable. Because mm -hmm. for me, you know, it's a big no. Okay. Like the <laughs> the Killian Love. Yeah. Mary uh, Sintra, Oriana. Mary Sintra, Oriana. Yeah. Uh, Olympia, no? No, no, no. What, no. You showed me what designer that was like this also, and I was like, I uh, yeah. don't like this. Yeah. In the last video. Maybe, yeah. But yeah, I know it has something very like. Um, the opening, yeah, it's white flower, it's, I would say, like orange flower. Uh, There's blood orange in the opening, actually. Something, yeah, something like this. But then I get something like synthetic, marshmallow. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. something like this, and I don't like it. Okay. Myself. Okay. But I, I understand some. Uh, most people love this DNA. Or I love by Kylian, it's their bestseller. Yeah, yeah. It's a DNA that works really well. Okay. Uh, but not for me. Okay. So you don't like it, you don't find this sort of. It's a personal preference to you. It's a personal preference. I'm sure it's okay. really nice for people who like this kind of. DNA, but yeah. yeah, I don't. Okay, and what would you? You have to rate it, even if you don't like it. You have uh, to rate five. it. Five. Okay. Because uh, I'm sure it's good, but it's not what I like. So. Hurts my heart, guys. Hurts yeah. my heart. <laughs> There's some iris, maybe no. I don't know, but uh, I, you know, I love this one, and even though Pierre I think doesn't I got like it, for it, you, it actually. yeah, yeah. Pierre even bought it for me because I was going on about how much I love it, and I took it to the Maldives with me, and you actually did say I smelled nice. So yeah. maybe it smells a bit different on the skin. And also, I don't think it's as polarizing as the Love Don't Be Shy memo sent to Oriana where it's like the Neroli mixed with the sweet. This is this becomes more sweet and creamy on the I, skin. I, once again, I don't know the notes, huh? so I maybe I'm completely wrong. But no, that's no, no there is white florals, there is blood orange, there is vanilla. I'm not sure if there is marshmallow, I don't think so. But I get like a sweet synthetic. Yeah, behind. yeah, for sure. That no, for sure. Serves me a little bit. But I have to say, even though... Pierre doesn't like this one, it doesn't stop me from wearing this fragrance because I do personally really love it. But this is like what's Yeah. If you can just see the little... <laughs> okay, Ooh, I get something very synthetic. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let it settle maybe a bit. Okay, I get synthetic flowers right now. Okay. But you know synthetic where it, for me, when it's very synthetic, it, will smell, it, will, it almost smells like adhesive. Yeah, you know? okay. That's what I get a little bit. Okay. No, I don't like this. Okay. I, yeah. Okay. Not for you. I, I get, yeah, something very synthetic, maybe white flowers. Yeah. But there is nothing to, I don't know, I have nothing to say about it. Okay, okay. So this one's a bit Very high. synthetic, a little powdery, white floral, but white floral, not in a way <coughs> where you can pick up any of them, yeah. you know, like just a white floral bouquet. Yeah. Not modern, not old, not young, it's just here. Okay. And score? Score of four. A four, okay, it's your least favorite. It's not very good. Okay. Five. Some people would like it for sure, but yeah. I, yeah. Prada I, La I, Femme. I didn't know it. But he, he is right, although I do really like this fragrance and I plan to wear it because I just picked up a bottle of it when I picked up a bottle of Shiseido Zen. I do enjoy it, but I agree, it's kind of like undistinguished white flowers. It's boring. It's boring? For me, I think it's boring. Okay. Like it's white flower. Yeah. Okay. So we don't like. We don't hate, but we okay. don't like. Okay. Like four is not uh, zero. You know? No, but like you're, like... you're here because we want your opinion, so that's yeah. the most important thing. Okay? Yeah, it's, uh, but I feel maybe, I feel maybe it's gonna get better. Yeah, it does. But the opening, I don't like it. Okay. But I'll keep it on the side and I'll give you my update. Okay, so right but, now it's uh, a four. For me, it's nothing, uh, it's a little boring. I love the bottle though. The bottle, yeah. It's Bottle's nice. Cassis has eaten my hair tie. Really? And he's about to eat it all. You wanna go get it? Maybe. Hey, buddy, give it to me. 
it has something floral, mm -hmm. very floral. Okay. But maybe there's something a little like fruity, sweet. Yep. It doesn't make me, uh, you know. Yeah, jump out of your chair, but. It's, it's a six. It's a six. It's a six. Okay. You know, like it's good, it's not crazy. Okay. It's nice. Okay. It's very, um, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised. I, uh, I actually bought I this one. Because yeah. I love it on the skin. Yeah. And really. I didn't know about this one. I bought this one because when we were at, we were in Nice, I think, actually, and Pierre, he like, I sprayed this and he went crazy. He was like, oh, that smells so good. What is that? And like I said, he doesn't usually have those type of reactions to fragrances, so I bought it because of that. But I guess you like it more on my skin than on the Tessa Street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I feel like it's uh, it projects a lot. Yeah, definitely. You know, when you wear it, it's like you have a little cloud around you. Yeah. And uh, but it's just kind and of yeah, it's it's sweet. Like it has something you're right, probably so addictive. Yeah. You're yeah. right. It has tonka bean and pear. Sorry, yeah, you said right, fruity and nice. you said sweet. So tonka bean and pear. Yeah. Nice. And uh, but on I the, on the test strip, it's not too crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just like another uh, sweet floral. Yeah. No, I agree. Fruity. I agree but with you actually. But on when you wear it, it was really nice. Yeah. Like the. Uh, the sillage around you, the proje projection, yeah. it's really nice. Yeah. But I agree that you cannot really test a fragrance based on the test strip because it smells so much more different on your skin and also in the air around you. So always test them on your skin. Okay. But it's interesting that I gave it a six because I, I told you to get it. Yeah. Okay. It's also uh, a little more complex. Okay. Do you think that I wear this one or not? Did you ever yeah, smell this on me? Maybe you did, yeah. Okay. Just wondering. Maybe you did. Um, I don't really know what to say. Okay. Is it sexy? Is it fruity? Is it sweet? Is it... It's a little sweet, uh, a little floral, okay. probably woody. Okay. But it's one of those that is probably well made because you yeah. can't really pinpoint anything. Exactly. Uh, so I that's agree. why I'm like, I don't know really. Uh, you see the other ones, it's like, you know, it's like fruity. There is some, yeah, or yeah. it's like uh, yeah. boozy or it's a gourmand. Yeah. This one, uh, it's, I guess it's, it's very it's well, well done. Made. Yeah, it's, and it's quite transparent overall. Like it, You feel yeah. like it's not very I, uh, dense, the fragrance. It's just the dog is barking right now. So. <laughs> Pasties, stop. If I make the. Because sometimes I was like. <laughs> um, okay. Do you like it though, or not really? I'm not sure. You're not sure? I'm not sure. I, I get a really synthetic vibe. Okay. Again, you know, like kind of like in the Prada La Femme. Okay. Not not the smell, but the, the synthetic vibe that I okay. get. Oh, it's nice. Okay. So a six. A six. Another one. Really? <laughs> wow. I'm surprised because I love also when you wear it. Yeah, I know. Look it's how much I wore. Maybe it's after smelling 10 perfumes, I'm like... Uh, no, no, but they smell different, all of them, on the Tessa strip versus when you wear them. Because this I love when Demi wears it. Yeah. I always compliment you. Yeah. And you always Same. think it's press as well. Yeah. But actually it's crazy when you said there is a similarity with the Prada La Femme because when I tested them side by side, actually the other day, the dry down of Prada La Femme, it smells quite similar to this yeah. one. Yeah, the dry I down. I told you there is something... Uh, yeah. That reminds me, I'm not saying they're the same, but there's like a similarity in a way. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. But I love when you wear it, but on the touch of strip, it's less... Uh, impressive. Less impressive, yeah. So a six. Six. But in reality, when she wears it, on the skin, it's more of an eight, yeah. eight and a half. This wow. I love. This you love? This I love, yeah. Okay. But once again, the first sniff doesn't mean that you would like the... Yeah, yeah, the whole composition. The whole thing, but the first sniff is amazing. Okay. It's very addictive, it's very sweet. It's like maybe some sort of like red berries, vanilla, or tonka bean. Yeah? I think there's all those notes actually. Yeah. yeah. It's very nice. It's very good, addictive. Huh? Yeah. I love it. Cool. But not, um, oh, this is sexy. This is sexy? Yeah, this is for a date night. Okay. Clubbing, it's very nice. Okay, I love it. amazing. I'm very happy because this one is the other cheap one in the list. Oh. I'm very happy and I also wow. agree with everything you said. It's very, you guys know, I made a dedicated video to this fragrance. It's Yes I Am by Cacharelle. 
and it is amazing. Like it's a cheap but really good gourmand fragrance for me. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's red berries, it's vanilla, tonka, cinnamon. There's some licorice, I think there's a milky note in here. There's a lot of things going on and it's just really, really good. Yeah, it's really nice. Cool. I'm surprised. I, my viewers will love it because you, you like your favorites for the most uh, affordable. Interesting. Uh, I didn't get you to rate it. Don't be influenced. Uh, nine. A nine? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Nine because I mean, you saw my reaction from the ones that I gave a nine to and this is yeah. like up there as well. She wants to say hi. Hello, besties. Quoi de la femme? That's what he thinks about it. That's besties. <laughs> yes. That's his review. When you grab your nines or your top ones. My nines, they were mm -hmm. Angel Muse. So this one, this one. This I one. Hold it. I think Tom Ford Noir. Yeah. And Shiseido. I give nine also? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, oh, you give nine. I don't remember. No, you give nine. So I think those were Pierre's top favorite from the list. It was yeah. Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. I Am, uh, Yes I Am by Cacharelle, Angel Muse from Mugler, and Shiseido those. And yes. out of all, which one do you think, if you could only recommend one to my followers, which ones would you recommend? It's which tough. one? It's tough. I would say for the day, yeah. an everyday Shiseido Zen. Okay. Um, versatile. Yeah. You know. uh, night, if you want to be like a little dark, mysterious, and really sexy, Tom for Noir. Okay. And if you want to be more, if you're looking for something less refined that just works, um, I would say Kasha. Okay. Yeah. Even though okay. Angel, I love Angel Muse. Yeah. Um, for me, it's a perfume that I could wear. Yeah. You so know? You so I it rated less. nine because I love the scent. Yeah. But for me, it's less like very feminine. Okay. You know what I mean? So I'm really, really happy because I just picked a bunch of fragrances and got him to like smell them without knowing what they are. And I really loved hearing the reactions, even though some of them made me a bit sad, like the Yeah, yeah I'm very surprised. Also. But, uh, like the Mousse Noir Rose, yeah. Burberry Her, yeah. and La Belle. Yeah. I'm very surprised. Yeah. But once again, I guess it's just a proof that. Uh, it doesn't do any justice on, on the test the test or stripe. Yeah. And I guess when you buy a perfume, you need to try it on your skin first. For sure. Yeah. But yes, that's it. Uh, let us know, guys, if you want to see any other videos together. Yes. It's always fun to film together. Yes. Like a little, uh, a little women's video. Especially when you have a little dog that's uh, biting your hand for 45 yeah. minutes. Exactly. <laughs> so that is it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.